guys and welcome back to another freaking video if you're new to my channel or if you're not so new to my channel my name is Rache Wims I am 18 years old and I was born and raised in Nassau Lamas in today's video I am going to be saying goodbye to home because I am moving out at 18 years old <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that was a little bit dramatic. I'm just moving out. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm joking for real this time. Okay, okay. To find out what really happens, continue watching this video and y'all tell me in the comments what, why am I essentially moving out? In air quotes. Huge air quotes. This video came to mind when. I realized that I only had about two weeks left on the island and it didn't really hit me until it hit me that day and I was just like yo these things are no longer gonna be easily accessible to me things I've taken for granted for so long or things that are seen as luxury or luxuries to other people I just be like bro I can get that any day but baby you only have two weeks any day is coming to an end so I'm just like you know what I'm about to indulge in all the things that I love you know and the things that I will be missing from the well I ain't gonna lie missing some of these things I could do where I'm going but like food friends family and like just me being by myself you know driving and stuff like that those are going to become like stuff that I cannot do where I'm going So, let's rewind the clock back two and a half years ago when I graduated high school on May 31st, 2019. In my head, on May 31st, 2019, I'm like, bro, I'm closing a chapter. I'm closing a chapter of my life and moving on to bigger and better things. Well, so I thought, you know. 2019 class was the last graduating class I graduated before the pandemic happened, you know, and I'm forever grateful for that because I technically was supposed to graduate in 2020, but oh well, I graduated in 2019. I had in my head that I wanted to go to university, wanted to go to college, just wanted to get higher education in general, and it was able to happen. I attended the University of the Bahamas for a year well two years okay i attended the university of the bahamas dang i don't know what the timeline is anymore i attended the university of the bahamas as a computer science major and as time progressed and as time moved on i realized that that isn't what my end goal was i realized that being in the college environment that i didn't i didn't want to indulge in a field that i didn't love I remember many years ago, my dad told me, don't just find a job, find a career, because a career is something that you would stay in for the rest of your life, and it's something that you won't find taxing and tedious to do. It would be something that you would enjoy going to do and wake up every day to do. So I was like, okay, good. So once I remembered that, I was like, okay, I like computer science, but I'm not loving computer science, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, I need to do a little bit of research and figure out what it is that I really, 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 really want to do. I get $15 gas, please. $15. After I figured out what I wanted to do, I came to the conclusion that I want to do computer forensics. And if you want to know what computer forensics is, you can look it up online and, you know, you have been informed on what computer forensics is. So, I realized that that is what I wanted to do because there, to my knowledge, are no computer forensic scientists in the Bahamas and I would be the first female one to do it because it's a male-dominated field. That was like, bad. This is what I want to do. I just the type of person who wants to indulge in work that will change 
the paradigm of the country or the world or of people just in general so i was like okay bet so this is this is good for me this is good for us this is good for the bombers i'm doing it for my country <laughs> No, I'm doing it for me. But anyways, so once I figured that I wanted to do digital forensics, I was like, okay, bet. So you be, I can't stay, babes. I'm gonna have to exit stage left. So I had to figure out what school I wanted to attend. So at the end of the day, the main point of this video is to tell y'all that in fall of 2021, I will be attending the University of Alabama at Birmingham in Alabama. So, yes, I am going off to school and that's what I mean when I'm saying I'm moving out at 18. Which, you know, isn't all bad or whatever. Like, people make it seem like, oh my gosh, you're moving out. No, baby, I'm not moving out. I'm just still under my... Still under my parents' rule, still under their roof, because you know they still paying the bills and stuff like that. I'm forever grateful to my parents, by the way. But like, yeah, I kind of, you know, leave in the nest, you know, kind of have the figure stuff on my own, kind of, you know, step into this adulting situation, which I heard it's very ghetto, by the way. But that's a different topic for a different day. But you know, it is what it is, and I am ready to wholeheartedly step into it you know walk into my purpose as you know people like to say you know and just do what i gotta do and make sure that my goals stay in sight so before this video ends of course i cannot forget to thank my parents i know for fact my mommy is watching this but I just want to say huge shout out to my parents. They have made sacrifices upon sacrifices upon sacrifices for me to be able to get a higher education because they didn't have to. They could have been like, hey babes, you have to stay at the UB because you have to stay. Like, they could have, you know, they could have stopped me in my tracks, but they was like, you know what? I see that you have determination and I see you have grit and I see that you're willing to work. So we're going to put everything behind you and we just going to do what we got to do and just make it happen. And I was like, okay, one common goal, let's do this. So, you know, big shout out to them. Without them, literally. Without my parents, I would not be here today and that's just on everything, you know. Some of y'all may be wondering, hey, Rache, you gonna be, you know, vlogging and stuff when you get to college? No. <laughs> I'm only joking. Yes, I gonna be vlogging when I get to college. Um, Will it be the entire ins and outs of my situation? No. Will it be some happy moments? Maybe. I will be putting out some form of college content when I get to Alabama because I do want to document my experience, especially the international students whose dream it is to go off to school, who wants to see that high education, but like wanted to do wants to do it in a different country, or like you know, just want to do something different what that country don't offer. So this is for y'all, but this is also for me. time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page tonight can we stay and why don't you to me yeah i need you present instead of giving me presents you're not getting off that easily oh when we get back on the same page tonight we can stay
this video is a tribute to me and myself to remind myself of how far you've come and where you're going just to remember where you're going you remember who you are whose you are and to remember just to stay focused and continue to shoot for your goals and stuff like that it's only up from here love it's only up from here you're speaking my love language I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and i thank you guys for coming along on this journey for me you know the road gonna be long and it gonna be rough but i'm willing to work willing i'm willing to work <laughs> i'll work very hard to reach my goals at the end because there's nothing better than success man and happiness that's all i want at the end of the day to be happy anyways i'll see you guys in the next one see ya what i want to be y'all bye guys your time with me you're